chapter 17, 5, 10 a.m. The upended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? Manipulator? <laughs> I see you managed to survive, detective. Hey, you're... Excuse my appearance, I seem to have lost my body. Oh, and you there. You're the ghost who's been saving Lin all evening, aren't you? Y you knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural, unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Cecil, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are? That's right. I came all this way tonight, trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am, too. Are they twins? Maybe they're twins. What? Maybe they're twin brothers, I don't know. The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth, or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. Where's Jowd? They got us good. It's all over for this submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull, and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had a deal with these people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Temsic fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean, they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, that meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research, and I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. Meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers, like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects! Exactly, and apparently there are individual differences in the powers we get. And it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? 
Yeah, my powers have changed over these past 10 years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what it does? Dying while being exposed to radiation? On that day, 10 years ago. A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart and I died. So of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers too? Oh yeah, because he died right there. You know, you might be right! Yeah, because he died right on the crater. Oh, why do they have to show the dog dying again, though? Aren't the Temsic remnants still right there in that park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So that must mean... I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation, too. Okay. The radiation's time effect. Another effect the meteorite's radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite? One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ah! This is all so strange and confusing, I can't take it all in! It makes about as much sense to me as anything else! <laughs> yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continually, continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital functions stopped 10 years ago. But my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed, not really alive, and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. So I guess, as soon as the incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. What about this revenge? Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why you wanted to kidnap his daughter. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Temsic. Detective Jowd was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate.
Inspector Cabanella and that junkyard super. They were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out, I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Temzik fragment and here I am. But they had one more final target. You, detective. Me? If you weren't there in the park that day 10 years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Uh, okay. But I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, and you'd become a detective looking into Jowd's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. Oh, we're finally getting the answers of what happened and why there was a cat in the suitcase. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day 10 years ago, so of course you didn't recognize me. took possession of you to make you shoot me. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. The aim was off and the first shot missed the mark. junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. But they had other ideas. They simply wanted to wipe you out. But then... Something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. Yeah. Me. Sissel, whoever, whoever that is. I showed up. I was supposed to meet up with them after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Aha, the inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back, no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jowd case. They thought you would find out about Temsic sooner or later. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush this submarine. Oh no! There are no cores that link from here to the water's surface. I have an idea! We hook up the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for this submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling all these 10 years. You what? This feeling, cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine, sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Is it 
true we're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... If my dad... If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm, that's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! Yes, we do! This will tell us where Detective Jowd is. That present from the Inspector in White. That's right! Detective Jowd told me to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? And we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. Okay, but my only question is, um, how are we gonna, even if we knew where it is, how are we gonna get there? But, but, even if we find out where he is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. Oh no, I have a third power to take into consideration. Other powers, right, Miss Lee? Right. Oh, and wait a minute. What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. Hmm, looks like Detective Jowd is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Hmm. Oh, this thing. <laughs> Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? Well, this looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Oh, it sounds heavenly! I've been thinking about this for a while now. For a while now, but don't you think that country's use of technology is just a little bit off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, it looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Torpedo room, engine room. Torpedo room? Tor tor bleh, the torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're going to use a missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. We don't want to blow Detective Jowd up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room, too. Up is definitely safer. We'll climb up to the torpedo room, too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there, then. Alright, let's do this. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can kill on me! I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. And I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. 
Okay, let's try it. Good luck. The switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken, but I don't think the entire device is broken though. It would probably work just fine if I could only move this switch. I just have to find a way to move it somehow. But I can't do it with my powers alone. Okay, so let's try... First, what happens if we turn this valve? Nothing. Okay, so if we move over to... Oh no. Missile? I guess I gotta talk to him first. What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. There's no time to be standing around, unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength missile? Me? Of course I will! Count on it! There we go. Let's sw swap these switches. And let's see if that helps us any. Aha! There we go. There we go. That torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end, too. But something's odd. What is? The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess we'll find. I'll find out. Right. Okay, hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. I just... I don't know how I feel about this. I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head toward the command room where Detective, Detective Jowd is. 12 seconds after launching, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Okay, come on, Missile. He doesn't want to leave Camilla. Missile? I... I'm sorry. I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Missile? I swap the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sizzle. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn! You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. And that's our only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never, ever again. Even I can understand that. I, I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> puppy is the sweetest thing ever. I can't even handle it. Miss Camilla! That's a good boy, Missile. Good boy. Best boy. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. We're ready. Sissel? Yes? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is... I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, sissy? Right, missile? That's right, we promise, little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you. 
No matter what happens. Here goes then. Good luck, friend. Let's go. This is intense. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. dead or is he just unconscious detective jowd i bet that big masked man did this i'm going to bite him you'd better not you might break your teeth the command room has lost power and is sinking so i wonder what this masked man is gonna do let's talk to detective jowd Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. Who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. How's Camilla? And what about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine in Noah. So the submarine is badly damaged? Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. This guy came with us? I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You! You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Are you... Yomil? Yomiel? Yomiel? So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yomiel. That's right. But those people on the Yonoa were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jowd? Right. Okay. About your meal. Ten years ago. You were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are, Missile. Yes, you are. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like it's something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However... This project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization on the country moved on this one. And then, one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of the system police arrested you and then that incident happened 
So he didn't even do anything wrong, I take it. But he didn't even get a chance to prove his innocence because he ran off like that and then all this... And then the meteor hit him in the back. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomil. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, real motive for revenge. Ten years ago. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I wanted to disappear, but I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lin described it is exactly right, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair and all and I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering and so that's why you murdered my Alma that's right I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt I mean geez you didn't do you were proven innocent to that a conspiracy or whatever but shit you sure did turn yourself into a villain didn't you what it was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness and then as I was plotting my revenge I had an idea I came up with a pow a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal There's something I just don't understand about the deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot, and the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. I mean, do you think that you deserve a life like that when you just get revenge on all these people though? A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. And their response, in the end, was betrayal. They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own, and they even figured out what Temsik was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all this? Then at all, I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk, a hunk of the Temsik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country, too. 
A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, eh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then, they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. That park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Temsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure, secure the Temsic meteorite. So that's it, eh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, huh? Yeah, it's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. What? What good will that do now? We promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them! And we can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Alright, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go then. Back to four minutes before your death. Let's do this. Let's save Jowd. Try to figure out how to save everybody. So we didn't get any answers really on who... Um, Sissel's real identity is from that, so that's still a mystery. So, where are we headed? We're not headed anywhere, detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, detective. We will run out soon and that will be our destination, detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too? By the way, I am not human, detective. Oh my god. That doesn't surprise me. I am a remote-controlled robot, detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There is no need for you to know, detective. Now it is time to say goodbye, detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, detective. Ugh! Camilla, forgive me! Damn, that's rough. So we need to stop him from using that control panel. Maybe we should break it or something. Or change the trajectory of the gun. Or something. It isn't over yet. Remember what the big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. A po the possibility of turning the situation around.
this yo meal guy has never been around people like us. People who have hope. Huh? Please, a detective! Look at Yomil's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temsic fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? I figured it out. Wait, what? Who, who is this? Is this Sissel or, this, or is this Yomil? So confused! Oh, it's Yomil, okay. I know what this possibility, no matter how small is. Cause like, he changed uh, sides, cause... You, uh, they, they changed, he changed sides, okay? Confused me. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they're afraid of. What is it? Can you guys just not change sides? Because you're it's kind of confusing. My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Temsik. His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Temsik fragment has been taken away. <gasps> so we can revive him! Exactly. So what does that mean? He's truly dead now. I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Temsic fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see. That means we can go back? Back to four minutes before your death? Wait, which death? The death when he when the Temsic was removed, or the death when the Temsic entered? But wait a minute! Exactly when is that death? Yeah, I don't know. That's simple. We'll find out when we get there. Let's move. Where are we gonna go? I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. We've seen all the clues? What? I don't know! The final journey to the truth. <gasps> starts now. What? I'm not ready. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright. 